Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Today I thought I'd show you a finished object made with Hobie Twister and do a bit of a review of Hobie Twister because I've never used this yarn before. First of all, Hobie have not sponsored this video and we are not affiliated. I purchased the yarn myself. All comments and opinions made by me on my personal opinions after crocheting with this yarn. I didn't do a knitting project so I can only comment on crocheting with it. So it's a crochet yarn review. Let's get started. So a few months ago I asked my subscribers to vote on which colour I should use out of the three capes of Twister I bought from Hobie. There was blue, tropical, black and white. And the winner was blue by one vote over tropical. For quite some time there it was neck and neck. I hope they weren't making it clear which was the favourite colour. And in the end, blue came across the finish line. So my finished object is made with Hobie Twister colour 39, which is a blues. So, Hobie Twister. It's designed in Denmark, made in Turkey. It's um, 55... No, might have to read the ball bang. Yes, 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Big tick from me, I like blended yarns. Easier to care for, 100% cotton requires a lot more um, work and it's ideal for the project I made. It's a 250 gram cake, 1000 meters or 1093 yards. Now if you're going to knit with it, they recommend a 3 to 4 millimeter knitting needle. If you're crocheting with it, 3.5 to 4, uh, 4 millimeter crochet hook. So there you have it, Hobie Twister. That's all I have left. It's a fine two weight. Um, where's an end? Let's see if I can find an end to show you. It's very fine. Um, I'm trying to split it so you can see. Can you see that? See how fine that yarn is? So definitely a true two weight and fine yarn or two ply if you're Australian. Now, the pattern I made is the Summer Morning Shawl by Ulya Kachenko. I can't pronounce the rest. I will put a um, link to the pattern in the description below. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and it's been in my Ravelry library for quite some time. Now, you have to excuse the picture, um, that's it there. My printer's not doing the best and it doesn't really show it up well. This is a great little pattern. Now, if you're not into patterns, there is a stitch chart if you prefer a chart. But it is free and it is lovely and so well written. The actual pattern is a 14 row repeat and you do the repeat four times. I actually only did three because that was the size I wanted and it still looks lovely. Um, you could do less or more. It all depends on what size you want. But it is well written. Now, if you're a confident beginner, I highly recommend this pattern. Give it a go. I'm sure you will find it easy enough to do. The thing I liked about the pattern is it finished with a pico edge. I really like shawls to have a nice edging. Even knitted shawls with an I-cord bind off are nice. But I like the when the edge is finished off with some little trim. And the pico is lovely. So do you want to see the rest of my project? So here is my summer morning shawl made with Hobie Twister, colour 39. Ta-da! I'm biased, but I think it's gorgeous. I think it turned out really well. Now, you won't be able to see it all on screen, so there is a photo of it spread out at the end. But I do love it. I just can't believe how gorgeous the colour gradient is. Look at that. You're working away, and you don't even notice it's changing colour, which is another big tick for me. I don't like them when they're striped. I haven't blocked it yet so it's still curling a bit and the picture I took is unblocked but I don't think I'd have to block it much. It really is beautiful. 
So that is my summer morning shawl made with Hobie Twister. Now the pattern said Schwepsky's Well and I checked it on Yarn Sub and Hobie Twister came in with a really good substitute rating of over 95% and I thought I'd give it a go. Schwepsky's Well cost me when I bought it and I do have some in my yarn stock is about $44 a cake and when I bought the Hobie Twister it was on sale for $15.10 US which worked out to about $22.90 at the time Australian so for me the Hobie Twister is much better value now Will has about 54 colors in its range Hobie Twister I have a few notes has 31 colors so it's still got a good color range like Will but yes I am really happy with it. There's only one thing about Twister I didn't like. First of all, the pattern gets five stars out of five. It is so well written, so easy to follow, and yeah, free, a bonus. Five stars out of five. What is the drawback with Twister? Well, I don't know if it was my cake, but I had more than five factory joins and factory joins are a big bugbear with me. I'll accept one or two, but once it got past five, I was starting to get pretty annoyed. So that's why the Hobie Twister only gets four and a half stars out of five from me because of all the factory joins. Now I've never used it before. So let me know in the comments below if you've used it and did your cake have a lot of factory joins. Is this standard for a Twister cake? I have the other two. I haven't used them yet and I probably won't know till I use them. But yeah, let me know. Did you like using the yarn and did it have a lot of factory joins? Is that standard for a cake of Twister? Look guys, I love the yarn even with all the factory joins. It's just a breeze to work with. Um, I crochet fast so I tend to rush and split yarn. This did not split on me. It feels lovely made up. It drapes beautiful. Um, yeah, I just wish there weren't so many factory joins in the cake. So that's it for me. Hobie Twister. Would I make another item? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. I can't tell you what the full price is, but Hobie I always have lots of sales. So I probably will be keeping my eye out for different colors for sales because this is a beautiful weight yarn for the tropics, a much lighter summer yarn. So that's it, my review, my finished project. Make sure you check out the photos at the end. I'll have a photo of the three colors people voted on if you're new to the channel and a photo of the shawl, fully extended, but remember, it's not blocked yet. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and try something new and be inspired. My crojo and knitting mojo has gone walkabout. It's not always there at the moment. I think that's because my chores have increased with thing away. When I sit down at night, I'm a little tired and I'm like, I can't be bothered. This pattern was perfect. It's not mindless, but for me, I could still do it in front of the TV and it didn't require a lot of brain power. So there you have it, Hobie Twister and the Summer Morning Shawl. Bye for now.